few years ago, a man came to my office. He was about 42 years of age, and he was explaining to me that when, when he was younger, what he had hoped for was to be able to meet somebody and marry, um, have some children, and, and hopefully make enough money to be able to provide for all of them. And he figured that that would be a very successful kind of life, and, and that he would be happy because of it. Well, as he came to my office, he says, you know, I've achieved all of those things. I'm 42 years of age, and I still feel a sense of the need for a greater life and for um, some happiness and satisfaction. He says, I have all of those things, and I never expected to desire something more, but he says, I do. And one of the things I've realized is that, that I have many talents to give, and and that I need to offer those uh, for others. And he says, I think that, you know, the happiness builds upon the giving of ourselves for the sake of, of other people. So he was just wondering what were some of the things that he might be able to do as he would be able to get engaged more in church. The thing that I was struck by was that he was prompted to, to come in and to talk about all this. He was also prompted to give of himself in some way for the good of, of other people. It's very important for us to pay attention to those promptings that are within us because often that's the prompting of, of the Holy Spirit to, to give of ourselves for the good of others. There's all kinds of opportunities that arise uh, in our lives to respond to those kinds of promptings and, and we need to be aware of those kinds of, of opportunities. We know what those promptings are like in, in our life. So for instance, sometimes we just have the sense that we need to call somebody up who we haven't talked to for a while. We're prompted to do that. Um, or we have uh, a desire to uh, write a letter to somebody um, because we know that they're in need. And so we follow through on that. There are also promptings that we have to give of ourselves in service to others and to use our gifts for the sake of, of building up our church community. And we just need to take, uh, you know, we need to be aware of those kinds of promptings in our life so that when opportunities arise, we can respond to them faithfully.